What's up everybody and welcome to another walkabout mini golf video here on Clip Reaper Games. Today we're going to be getting under par on Tethy Station and showing you how to do some shots to help make that happen. Keep in mind whenever I say the estimated power of a shot it could be different from what it feels like to you because of difference in putter strength. You can change your putter strength in your settings and mine is always set to 85% that's what I feel comfortable with so that's what I'll be basing the power estimation off of. Before we go do the under par run we're going to go into practice and I'm going to show you some shots and how you can go about doing those to save some strokes but if you want to go ahead and skip to the under par run go ahead and skip to the time on screen here and without any more wasted time let's get into it. So hole one's almost as simple as it gets so all we're going to do is look to our left at this light right here and we're going to aim about two three inches to the right of it hit it right there and hope for the hole in one power's got to be really on point or you're going to just miss the hole but it's a safe shot even if you miss you're going to have a line to the cup unless you hit it crazy hard about a three and a half four on the power level So this is basically the same shot as the first hole, but a little bit more tricky and a lot more punishing if you miss the line, which is way, way smaller. And I couldn't get it to go in no matter how many times I did it, it would just hit the cup and come out because you have to hit it hard so that you have enough spin to go through the gap. And like I said, this is slightly the other one, so there's some flat faces on this curve. You want to hit the line before the last one. So right before that last flat face and that'll get you through. But we have another shot here that's safer. So you get a short putt if you make it, but if you miss it by even a little bit, you're gonna end up doing something like that one right there especially, but it's just, yeah. But, and again, I just kept hitting the cup so it's not totally worth it. So here's the other one. It's a little bit tough still, but a lot more forgiving than the first one if you mess it up and all we're doing here is trying to hit the end of that light on the left side there and it'll bank its way through and of course you could always just set up right there after the first light and then put on through to uh, a nice two but it's kind of a long putt if you do the setup so hole three they want us to go around this whole way around to the cup but we have a couple options here first one is pretty simple just hit it off of the reactor like that not a very hard hit maybe a three and it gives you a pretty long putt but it's a very safe easy way of getting over there for a two now our second and third shots are the risk versus reward shots and so you can just bank it around really hard this way and where you want to hit it is right at the the apex of the curb before it starts going around the full bend and you'll bank it around this is a pretty hard hit probably about a five out of ten and you can also make pretty much the same line and instead of hitting this curb at all just shave right beside it and that'll also get you over there but you don't want to hit these too hard because if you do hit them too hard you'll end up going way past the cup but if you get them just right you can get yourself a pretty short putt So hole four is pretty simple, but can be a little bit more difficult than it looks. So you want to go in that middle one right there, and if you go in the middle one, you'll land out of that tube, hit the middle rock, and bounce over here for a possible, but very rare, hole in one with a short putt. And if you go off the other sides, you'll land on the two other sides down there, which have a good chance of just completely sending you out of bounds, or just leaving you right in the back for... Uh, putt where you have a chance to bank it in, but you're probably gonna have to set up. That was super close But that's really what you want to do aim for the middle of that shape there and Give it about a three and a half or so And you want to aim for the middle because you're gonna break to the left or right whichever side you're closer to But you can get this one with a couple tries so for hole five we need to make our way down this tunnel around the curbs and down to the hole but 
you want to be careful of not hitting it too hard because of these rafters and metal pieces and wires and everything on the roof because you're going to hit those and get knocked back, knocked down, all kinds of different ways. But what we want to do is cut left to that curb right there. Hit this wall and bounce over to the left and hit the other wall and try to go down to the hole. This was a lucky one and a little bit of risky of one so if you want to get all the way down to the hole for a short putt you got to hit it hard like that and try to hit around the top area of the left metal side. I'm going to show you a little bit safer way of doing it as well. So the safe way is the same shot just softer that way you know you don't pop up into the metal rafters up there and you don't get quite as close of a putt to the hole but you get plenty close enough that you can make the two here. So hole six is a timing hole where they want us to go over the hill between these things try to roll down to the hole. Very very difficult to actually get a hole in one doing that. What I prefer to do is send it straight across into this corner and try to come back for the hole in one. It is possible but it's tough to get the right bounce. It's going to be a little bit of luck involved if you're trying to get the hole in one but it's basically just straight at that corner when both sides are clear at a medium pace shot call it a five out of ten maybe a four and a half and pop it back over to the hole you can't just send it through soft and safe like that so it gives you a pretty short putt just whichever one you want to go for so this hole it's kind of hard to do difficult on unless you can't get it into one of the lanes down there because all the lanes they give you similar lies and pretty much every one of them will give you a line but the one I like to go in is this one over to the far right because it's the one the only one I've ever actually hit the cup on or nearly gone in on and usually you'll hit the cup actually but if you don't you get a pretty nice line to get in the cup it's pretty easy so hole 8 here this can be a pretty painful hole and can really hurt your run as long as you're able to keep up with the rest of these shots though even if you stroke out on a hole you'll still be able to come out under par but there are a couple ways going about this one they want us to go in each one of these little craters but no we're not doing that the risky shot is to go all the way for the flag try to land in the carpet the first time that way you don't bounce out couldn't believe it this only actually took me two tries normally I don't even go for that shot I go for the safer two or three which I'm going to show next but for this one you do need to land in the carpet or you have too much momentum and you bounce out it's probably about a five and a half six out of ten so my preferred way of doing this hole is going to the right and landing just after that group of rocks right there to bounce up into this one I actually got pretty close there I landed kind of in the group of rocks it's better to land just past those get a cleaner bounce because if you hit one of those rocks you're gonna go off course and you're not gonna stay in but from here you can just ride it up the rock on the right side into the carpet or um, bounce it in like that and if you want to go straight for the two you can aim straight at the cup and hope for a, a roll that brings you down in there hole nine is one we can get a hole in one on uh, it's a simple hole. They just want you to go up this hill, come up the other one, but to go for the hole in one or just get up there in one, we're going to be aiming at the bottom of the second dark stripe and banking on the left side right there and hoping to come off the back wall and go into the cup. You can just roll straight into the cup. It's just all about your weight. But you don't want to hit this one too hard. You might want to play it safe. That way you don't hit the wall and come back down the hill. Uh, this one's probably about a 5 out of 10 if you want to play it safe, maybe slightly less than that, and probably about a 6 if you want to go for the hole. So hole 10, they want us to drop down the first platform and then drop down to the platform with the hole. We're not doing that. We're going a little bit left of the plastic piece right there, and we're going to try to drop down without hitting that rock. If you hit that rock, it's going to send you out but um, if you drop right off that great piece you'll have the right amount of momentum to stay in for a nice two to the cup and right here I actually try to show what it's like if you hit the rock and it sends you out but I 
actually couldn't mess it up, which is weird. Eventually I get it. There we go. That's what will usually happen if you hit the rock. So trying to do that, just go a little bit left, bounce it right off of it. So for hole 11, they want us to go around to the left or right, drop down, go around, drop down again, and go into the hole, or put in off the stage before the hole. We're not going to do that though. First we're going over the tough shot, which will give you an easy second putt and a possible hole of one. You can see we're going to go about 5-6 inches to the right of that first light, hit it pretty hard, and bounce into the middle area. Now. I actually didn't mean to clip the first piece of plastic there, go over and come back in. That was a little lucky. You want to just go right over that and then get caught into the bottom there. And You do have a chance to go in the hole. Pretty rare though. Got to get a lucky bounce. But uh, this one's probably about a 6 out of 10. It's up there. Got to hit it. So this one is similar to the first shot. But we're going to hit at the end of the second light this time. And we're just going to bring it around to try to drop it down for a 2. This is the safer shot because you're not hitting it crazy and hope for a nice jump down into that little gap, but you want to hit the end of that light and then once you get down there, it's actually a pretty easy putt off of that jump. It's really not going to mess with you, just send it straight down and into the hole. So for this hole, it wants to go down, around the loop-de-loop, -loop, and come into the carpet area with the hole. Hole in one is possible here, and that is what we're going to be going for. Now, the loop goes to the right, so you're going to want to hit your ball to the left. That way you don't loop out. And you're going to hit it hard, like a 7 out of 10. This is a pretty good one. And about a foot before that light on your right side. And then, just got to get the right bounce to go in the hole. This one you can get pretty often. This one isn't a super rare one. Just want to be careful not to go too far before or after the light because you're not going to stay in the loop and you're going to fly out, especially because you're moving at such high speeds. If you want to just play it safe though, just hit it at a leisurely pace, let it go around down there. You still get a really short putt, it's just not going to have the shot at going in the hole in one. So this hole is 100% all about your weight. Just want to ride this wave around. Um, you can hit it probably I'd say it's probably a four out of ten maybe a three and a half to go uh, probably a four to go all the way around it's kind of hard not to get a line because they leave you such a wide area to have one but the easier shot to give you an easy putt is to hit it soft and drop in there where the flag is but it is tough to feather your power just right to make that happen but really you want to hit that that top wall that's actually connected to the ramp that goes around and that's the one that will give you a somewhat better chance of a hole in one but the chances aren't great either way I mean you can get a two on this one and I like to go for the long putt just because I'd rather have the long putt and possibly miss that give myself a shorter putt for the three instead of going out two times three times you know so for this one they want us to go across the little hole I guess black hole is what it's supposed to represent and we're just going to go almost straight a little bit to the right straight into the hole and jump across to the other side so if you look across there though there's a dot on the left and a smudge on the right that smudge on the right right there pretty much straight in front of the light that's what we're going to hit this isn't a super hard one this is probably a three out of ten on the power and it is possible to get a hole in one but it is super super difficult but if you want to go for the hole in one or practice and try to do it you want to go to the right and you want to ride super low and the hole as low as you can get it to ride with the right perfect perfect amount of weight to get it to go in the hole but good luck with that and this is another timing simple but sometimes tricky hole you just want to hit across right as this one coming towards you passes the uh, pathway that you're about to hit across. So yeah, that will happen sometimes. Always makes you feel real, real good. But uh, if you do go just to the right of the cup and hit the wall behind it, that can actually bank you into the cup for a hole in one. So for hole 17, there are a couple ways we can go about this one. They want us to take this path and then give us the option of this shortcut, or we can go to the right 
and then set up for a long put. First off, we're going to do the crazy shot, which is very difficult to pull off. You want to hit just before that light on the left with the absolute perfect amount of power to make it across there without rolling off the edge on the end or off of the little shortcut beam there. That beam is not flat either, so if you're not perfectly in the middle rolling perfectly straight, you're going to fall off one of the sides unless your weight is just right. Then we have the safe shot, which is what I usually do, which is banking. It doesn't really matter where it's straight, same spot as the first shot. And just getting yourself over here. It all depends on your weight, really, whether you're going to get a line or not off of that curb. And then you can just set up, or you can try to go straight across and bounce off of the gray piece there and back up onto the carpet. And then you won't have the, you won't have too much momentum and roll off, but. Unless you're straight with this thing and you can hit that gray to bounce up there to keep your momentum from rolling off, you need to either just set up and hit straight across this or go to the right and leave yourself for the long putt because as you can see it's just is almost never going to happen if you're to the side because the thing isn't perfectly flat. So now we're just going to take our medicine, putt over to the right, leave ourselves to set up for the long putt. I almost went a little bit too wide here, but we still got the line. That's all there is to 17. Hole 18's hole in one isn't too hard. They want us to hit the negative two, the negative one, and then the negative one again. So right what we're going to do is go to the left right where that corner is there and we're going to hit the one we're going to hit the two we're going to come back we're going to hit the one and then we're going to drain to go down so right in front of your t that gray line right there at the bottom of the screen we're going to go right in this corner here and bounce right between those two gray lines about a two and a half or a three on the power level Gotta hit the one twice and the two once, and that'll get you the hole in one. As long as you hit the one and the two, you're still gonna get a birdie, so. It's just hitting the one on the second go around that you'll sometimes miss. But let's go ahead and get into the under par run now. So here we are on Tethys Easy, and I know I'm gonna run through this kinda quick, but it's kinda part of what the uh, practice part is for. So we're going to just right at that light about four power, try to get the hole, but we just missed it. So here we're going at the curb, straight ahead. And we're aiming at about the third line on that curb. Didn't actually hit that. We got a different bounce, but it worked out for us. Go ahead and head on to three. And this hole always seems to give me trouble unless I go off of the reactor, which I should have done and just gone for the long putt too, but it's all good, we'll still make out of here with a par. But yeah, about the reactor, I'd, whenever you're on the tee, just look at that reactor, hit it with about a three, it'll pop over to the other side and you got a, about a 10 foot putt to the hole. Here we're just going straight at the middle one, perfectly straight at it. You don't wanna go too far to the right or left, you'll veer out of there and you won't go into the little pocket there. So we'll take our easy two here and move on to the next one. And here we're going to go left next to that wall on the curb. And we're going to hit it at a medium pace, about a four or five out of ten. If you hit it harder, you can get the hole in one, but you're going to need a couple lucky bounces to make it happen. This one, I don't take my time with this at all. I saw the window was there and I just went for it. You want to aim more inside of the corner than I did, so you can try to go for the hole-in-one. But it's not one that you're going to make every time at all. And here we're just going to go to the far right trough. Doesn't really matter too much which one of these you go in, but this one will let you hit the cup and hopefully one day fall in the cup, so that's the one I go for. And here we're going to play it safe, go on the right, get the bounce into the third crater instead of going straight for the flag which is pretty risky. I'd rather go over here and make it in possibly two or three rather than shoot for the flag and go out two or three times.
That's about a four, four and a half if you're jumping over to the third crater from the T. Here we're aiming at the start of that second dark stripe and about a five out of ten to try to go back into the hole off of the wall. We're going to aim just at the start of the second dark stripe. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Here we're going to drop off just to the left on the gray bit and bounce over the rock so that we land down there. If you hit that rock, you're going to go flying out, so careful. Just make sure you don't land on the right side or the middle of that gray bit that you're dropping down onto. You want to land on the left side of that. And here we're going to, we're going to mess up a little bit and I wasn't too happy about it, but it's okay. So trying to hit at the end of that light and if I'd have hit it just the tiniest bit harder I'd have been in there with the hole but it was a little too soft but I mean if you're gonna be getting under par every game you're gonna have to find a way to uh, adjust to the shots you mess up like this one so it's gonna work our way over drop it down into the cup you don't have to worry about this drop off really messing with you as long as you don't fall down the wall it's not gonna mess with you you can go straight at the cup and here for the hole in one you want to go left of the point there with a high speed of probably a six out of ten i hit it a bit too short i hit it probably with like a four and a half or a five this one can mess you up it's all about your weight 100 percent and we're going probably about a three and a half here maybe a four again your power is going to be different from mine depending on what your putter strength is at so my estimations are based off of my putter strength, which is at 85%. And here we're just going to jump straight across the black hole and get a pop off of that little smudge that's on the right side there. Try to go over to the hole. Yeah, and right there I just, I didn't take my time. And that's what happens. You can see I'm shaking my head now because I know I just could have taken a second and a half more and I'd have made that putt. But that's what happens sometimes. You get a little ahead of yourself. Here I just played that one safe and landed on the left side of the cup because I don't know why. I tend to hit that cup and just bounce over a lot of the time. And here we're going to play this one safe. It's about as safe as you can play it going to take the long way around on this one just to be careful Oof. so close that's okay we're still going to come out in the 20s here so here on this one you got that gray line right in front of you and it meets another gray line horizontally right there we're going to try to land right in the corner between where they touch try to catch that one catch the two catch the one again and that'll give us our hole in one and we're going to come out under par as a negative 22. it's not a bad run that's a score i can live with if you can nail all the shots that i showed especially at the beginning when we went through practice it, even doing the safe versions, not the crazy inconsistent ones, you can pull negative 26, 28, or even a 30 here. But anyway, I hope this helped you out and you're able to pull under par on Tethy Station every time from now on and even get into those double digits. But please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what courses you want to see covered next, and I'll see you in the next one.